Hey, it is your boy Bumpy, and uh, it's been a while since I've done any type of content related to my page or put on my YouTube channel. Um, if you follow me on IG uh, at Bumpy Barbecue, you can kind of see what I've been up to low lately, but that is not the point of this uh, video. Uh, shout out uh, to Wawa is what I'm actually having for breakfast. They sponsored this video. No, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't sponsor this video. Be nice though. Anywho, I felt like I wanted to come on here and um, kind of do a transparency, you know, being transparent um, video, um, like a 2023 in review. It's been kind of rough. Uh, and y'all got to mind me, I am going to take some bites and, you know, sip my water uh, during this video. So if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, um, but keep watching. So anywho, um, 2023, and I'll, I'll get to what made, what prompt me to do it today. Today being December 21st, it is about 10 55 AM and I am eating a chicken sandwich from Wawa. But 2023, um, I guess I gotta go back a little bit and start with the end of 2022. So, uh, I'm gonna start with September. September 22nd, uh, 2022, I lost my best friend. Uh, my best friend of 20 plus years. Um, imagine, picture it, Sicily. If you get it, you get it. Um, talking to someone every single day, there might have been uh, some a couple days sprinkled in there, here and there in 20 years, but from the day we met, on the 22 bus line uh, on our way to college, Coppin State, till September 21st. Um, I probably talked to her every single day. Um, even up to, I sent her a message that morning of one of her favorite shows, which is Different World, and there was an interview of Kadeem Hardison and Jasmine Guy, which is Dwayne Wayne and um, Whitley Gilbert. Um, did an interview and I sent her the interview, but I never got a response. Um, and then, you know, lo and behold, found out that um, she passed away. So, so yeah. So that's how the end of 2022 started then uh, my birthday which is October 4th so less than two weeks um, it wasn't the most pleasant birthday uh, but I found some peace or some solace in the fact that uh, so my wife had planned this surprise um, wine festival gathering for me so my best friend, she had called on my best friend to get in contact with some of the friends that, you know, she know that my wife may not be able to contact right away. And when I found out that she was a part of the planning of my birthday, completely tore me apart. I kind of want to tear apart right now, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Um... So it was, it was a, uh, it was, it was bittersweet, you know. I enjoy, I, I enjoyed my birthday as much as I could. Um, 
with that. So, so then now, you know, there was a lot of things swirling around her after she passed away. And, you know, if, if you ever had to deal with a death and then the planning of the things that comes afterwards, um, sometimes it doesn't go as smooth. And this was one of those cases. And uh, just to kind of fast forward through that, um, we had her memorial service uh, in December. So there was, you know, two, three, almost three months of grieving, um, finally having a memorial service. Uh, and between having a memorial, and I don't want to call it a service, it was more like a, just a um, remembrance, um, you know, wasn't really a service, just a, uh, people just coming together, eating, laughing, memories, uh, in her name and so but that weekend I, I I had a Christmas party at my job and then her memorial was that Saturday and then I caught COVID so the memorial was in December 17th 18th I had COVID like right like a year ago right now I had COVID leading into Christmas um matter of fact I had it I still had it on Christmas because I remember my son opening gifts and I had a mask on sitting in the kitchen and he's in the living room and you know I was towards like that fifth or sixth day but just to you know be careful so uh caught COVID um, during the midst of all of that, I'm trying to plan a 45th surprise birthday party for my wife, whose birthday is at the top of January. Um, so now that leads into 2023. Now, 2022, the end, losing uh, my best friend, then I, I caught COVID. Also, so I got on grind mode trying to make my wife's birthday uh, extravaganza just in that. I want it to be a big thing. And so me working and grinding, if you don't know what I do for a living, I, am, I work for the transit company here in Maryland. Um, and during that grind towards the end of the month i got over covid i came back to work it is now towards like the last week of december after christmas before new year's <clears throat> on on the bus driving you know young man um didn't like what i said about him not having his money all in all with that being said he ends up spitting on me now uh So one of two things, I could have completely zapped and, and, and really, really seriously hurt that young man. When I say young man, he's probably about uh, between 18 and 20, you know, 17 to 20, somewhere in there. Um, but, and then the second thing would, was, which is what I did was I kept calm went through the protocol and my supervisor he asked me he said uh do you want to go home and you know go you know go through the protocol of what when stuff like this happens and i said i'll go home today and i happened to be on doing overtime so i wasn't even doing my regular shift at that time i said i'll go home today but i'll be back tomorrow and most people take days off if not weeks you know that's if if, if you've ever been tested mental like real mental stress such as being spat upon um you normally want to take a few days but i didn't because what was more important to me was i gotta get this money i gotta i want to work so that my wife's birthday can go off without a hitch which it did for the most part um
for the most part. I'm actually on lunch as well. I've been here since five o'clock. I don't get off till 7 30 this evening. So yeah. You gonna get these bites. Um so uh, I came back to work. I work, birthday, went off without a hitch, starting the 2023 off. Great. Um, great weekend. Um, I gave her a surprise party in DC and all of her closest family and friends and it was it was great. I will try to put some pictures um, here. Uh, so yeah. So, okay, so 2023 starting off great. You're running through January, you're running through February. It is coming upon my 10 year wedding anniversary uh, at the end of March, March uh, 28th. Excuse me, oh my goodness. That's my grandma's birthday. I'll, let me put a pin on that. March 30th is my wedding anniversary. My son was my son was born March 3rd uh, of 2017. Me and my wife got married March 30th of 2013. Um, so okay, and 10 year anniversary. You know how it is. 10 years. You gotta. You kind of do. You want to do something a little more than you maybe you've done the previous years because you made it to this quote unquote uh, milestone. And at the time, at the time, um, had hit a little financial hitch, and you know, I, you know, I was telling my wife because we had started to plan a trip to Mexico uh, in July. Like we was gonna, we was gonna celebrate our ten year anniversary in July uh, with some family other uh two other couples but i told her, i said listen um you know i i think it'd be in our best interest that you know we we don't i think we should fall back get ourselves together you know we'll always have time to go places you know i know the timing the timing isn't right but when is when is it ever a good time to uh disappoint you know, disappoint someone, which is what I did. I disappointed my wife. So, of course, you know how that goes. Any husbands out there who feel me, raise your hand, comment. You disappoint your wife. Um, you, that you don't take it, you know, too well. So, uh, I ended up just, you know, kind of like, okay, listen, let's. It, it, you know, I kind of held my ground for a while, but I was like, she was so disappointed. The, the 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 thickness in the house was. Longer story short, we end up, um, you know, getting what we needed to get. Um, I did some some events, food. You know, I hustled. We hustled together, and we was able to go to Mexico. All right, so. We're gonna fast forward to Mexico 2023, July. It was a great trip. Riviera Maya um, was a great trip. Went with some um, with my family, my with my two cousins and 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 um, their spouses, and it was awesome trip. Um, now I'm gonna back up just a little bit. March 10th anniversary around about May uh, we find out that um, my grandmother's cancer has unfortunately probably came back okay maybe like June um, and so okay we go to Mexico we come back from Mexico we wasn't even out of the airport once we got in back home into uh, Baltimore. We wasn't even out of BWY. My wife says, "I don't, I don't feel so well." I said, "Okay, 
Uh, I think we got back on a Friday. I think it was a Friday. And, and so we get home. She's starting to feel even more sick. Even more sick. By that Monday morning, I had to rush her to the hospital. Turned out she had um, severe pneumonia. Um, she was in the hospital for five days. So now she's in the hospital for five days. <clears throat> that was Monday. Wednesday, my grandmother goes into the hospital. Um, because, you know, her cancer is become aggressive, as they say. So now I got my wife in the hospital, my grandmother in the hospital. I still got a, I'm, I'm at work because, you know, my schedule isn't like everybody's typical nine to five schedule, you know. So now I'm trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to uh, take care of my son because I got to work. But then I got my, my my two best ladies in the hospital, my wife and my grandmother, both in the hospital, and I'm 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 trying to figure this out. And so my wife stays in the hospital for five, almost six days, and not even two weeks after my grandmother went into the hospital on July 28th, 2023, my my best lady, the one who raised me the one who what why I am why I am where I am who I became is because of this woman um my grandmother passed away at uh 11 p.m. and um she had she was in the hospital and uh we had finally got everything squared away for her to go to hospice she got into the hospice like 4 p.m. Um, me and my sister was up there till about 8, 8.30 and it stormed so bad that night. And so we left there about nine o'clock and you know, we ended up getting a call about 11 that she had passed. So now, um, we gotta deal with that. And again, planning service, uh, you know, with trying to grieve and pain, and I, from September twenty second of twenty twenty two to that point, I had shed so many tears, and now I have a bigger reason to shed even more tears. And so, of course, emotionally, socially, mentally, physically. You know, just just having moments and days and whatever. And I'm gonna tell anybody, um, if you grieve, don't let nobody tell you how to grieve. Uh, let it out when you can. Don't be ashamed. Just grieve. Embrace it. Don't fight it. Embrace it. Um. So. So her service, my grandma's service, was on August. Uh, 19th, 2023. And so now I'm going into September where now it's a year of my best friend passing. My grandmother passed on July 28th. So not even two months later, you know, I'm dealing with that. And then again, so now two birthdays in a row, I have suffered a major loss. I didn't know what a birthday was like in my entire life without my grandmother at all. So it's the first birthday without, you know, without your grandmother, you know? And and again, it's 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 not just this this is the woman that raised me. This is not, you know, you know, people sometimes they hang on the title. Oh, you know, it's your grandmother. And they say like, just not, they don't say it, but it's like just your grandmother. It's not your mother or your father. Listen, it's, um, it's different for everybody. You know, just know that. 
you know, the weight that they carry for whatever family member, let them carry that weight, and that's their weight. It's different for everybody. Um, so, so now I'm dealing with that. Birthday come up, sad. I am emotionally a wreck. Um, still am, still am. Uh, so now we're getting into the holiday season and this and that and you know like i said 2023 was just um a a rough and like i said i put the tail in the 22 on there it's been a rough year it's been a rough um rolling year um for your boy but uh you know I still got family to take care of. I still got my son and my wife and and my daughters. You know, we still got to keep going. So, which kind of brings me to where I'm at today. Um, um So, I am no stranger to a good drink. None. Um, quick story. Bumpy. If you don't know, I'm about to tell you how I got the name Bumpy. Uh, I was 19. I'm say 19. 19 years old, went to go visit a, a friend, very, very good friend. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me back up. Jesus. All right. Okay, lose my grandmother. One year anniversary of my best friend. October. Birthday. Two weeks after my birthday. Um, October 19th. Uh, the same friend that I was about to mention in the story, which is like a which is like a brother to me. You know, we've known each other. God, I've been around his family since I was my son's age, and my son is six. Um, in our group chat, we get a message. So his nephew had became a. Uh, let me just let me just adjust this. Room. So his nephew had became a firefighter. Was his was his goal was was his dream to become a firefighter. And um he had just he he hadn't been a firefighter um a whole year. He had just came out of the academy. I believe in the summer late summer and if you're not familiar um so i ain't gotta go i'm not gonna go through no details but if you look up the name rodney pitts the hero um firefighter in baltimore who lost his life um in the line of duty um on october 19th you can get any details you want from that but he died a hero and so we get that we get that group message saying hey uh just got a call nephew was in a fire on the way down to the hospital and so we all that's like a nephew to us that's like nephew that's cousin that's family that's blood don't make you any thicker um i just put up if you follow me on Instagram at Bumpy Barbecue, if you see this today, uh, you will. I have a picture of us um, on my Instagram story. So, boom. So then that happens, and now you got to go through that, and you know it's it's a lot. It is a lot. Um, so. 
fast forward now it is uh december 21st 2023 um 2023 has been 23 and it has been yearing whatever you know all that um so again what i started to say was that i enjoy a good drink the problem is is that full transparency i drink every day and i'd be hard pressed to figure out the last time i went no i was sick uh, me and my wife caught a little stomach bug um, a couple weeks ago my son had it first then we got it from taking care of him and I think we for about three days I didn't have no I didn't have nothing to drink. Prior to that, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Um, you know, the last time I went an extended amount of time for without having a drink. And I'm talking, you know, half pint to a pint a day. Uh full clarity, full transparent moment here. And so, last night I, you know, do what I normally do. I, you know, had my, had my pint, um, had a cigar. Was sitting out back. It was a little cold, but it wasn't too cold. Put on a hoodie, you know, had a sweater. I was good. I was chilling. I was relaxing. And I got up this morning, and I was fine. You know, I feel the way I normally would feel if I. You know, went to bed at 11 o'clock, got up at 3.30, and oh, I'm about 10.30, got up at 3.30, and drank. You know, you know, that exhausted feeling that you have. Not so much hangover, not for me, just that, that sluggish, exhausted feeling. So I said to myself, I said, um, you know, if I want to go into 2024 a little more clear, and... Let me tell you, my memory, I, you know, look, the bottom line is, so I said to myself, I'm going to take a break. Now, me and my wife are planning a, for her birthday, coming up, 2024, little getaway weekend to New York. Um, So that's about roughly 15 days from now. I said to myself, take a break. I'm not going to drink. To New York, which is to have something, have a nice drink with my wife. And then after that, I don't know, but I think that I need to, as Snoop would say, back up off of it and put my cup down. Uh, I, I I think so. I think I need to get some more clarity. I am not by no means, you know, not never was those type that type of drinker where. You know, get belligerent and, and meet. No, I'm, you know, social, happy. And then, you know, I worked all day. I'm going to have me a shot or two or three. N not that angry. None of that. So that's what, uh, that's how I was. But not, I, I think that I need to go into 2024 doing things differently. And, some some might say, well, you know, drinking ain't the reason that. Well, for me, I want to start there, and then let that lead into something else. You know, the way I've drink, the way I drink, uh, it's not good for your body. I said, I'm, I'm 42. My body feel like I'm 52. Uh, so health. Health is wealth, right? And right now I'm broke. So I need to, and, and thank God that my body is, is has held up the way, I mean, in a way that I'm not on a whole bunch of medications and pills and this, that, and the other, but drinking every day like that does not, it's not good. So I, I don't know. So to wrap this long 30 minute video up, and if you're still watching this, thank you. I appreciate you. I have 240 subscribers. I appreciate all of y'all. And if you are still watching this, I'm gonna take a page out out of one of my good good buddies' books. Is write 2024 in the comments. That lets me know that you watched this to the end. But 
Uh, I am my. I have different plans. One of the plans is that I want to do this every day. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. But this is day one. Tomorrow, I might even add on to this video. I don't know yet, but this is day one. December 21st, 2023. I will hope that I can look back at this video, December 21st, 2024, and say, hey, I did this, 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 and this. So tomorrow, uh, I think I'm gonna talk about my plans for 2024. Y'all take it easy, man. Be good, be great, be awesome. Um, thanks for sticking around. It's your boy Bumpy.